Welcome to the latest edition of Bellevue News. In this issue, we would like to introduce you to our unique concept facelift and inform you of some upcoming events. The concept facelift is performed under local anaesthetic and is far less invasive than traditional methods, meaning the procedure requires minimal downtime. It's a powerful procedure that can help turn back the ageing clock and provide comprehensive anti-ageing results for people concerned about sagging skin, wrinkles and lost facial volume. A quality facelift should last for several years. However, since every person and every procedure are unique, there are many different factors that can contribute to how long the results of a facelift will last. Addressing the aging of the superficial musculoaponeurotic system, SMAS, is an important part of many facelifts, and the way the surgeon attends to this will affect the longevity of the results. These facial muscles are lifted and tightened for a more youthful look and are just as important, if not more, than the skin tightening that takes place during the procedure. It has been observed that some skin types retain the results of a facelift longer than others. In general, patients with darker skin tend to see improvement for a longer period of time than fair-skinned people with thinner skin. Certain lifestyle choices, including smoking, sun exposure and past weight fluctuation, affect the skin's health and overall elasticity in a negative way. Unhealthy skin has a harder time bouncing back from facelift surgery and results may deteriorate more quickly following the procedure than patients with normal skin, especially if these habits are continued following surgery. While a facelift is appropriate for many patients from middle age and older who are experiencing moderate to severe facial ageing and are in general good health, there are some caveats for having the procedure performed at a more advanced age. First, the results may not be as dramatic since more improvement will have to be made and may be less noticeable depending on the degree of ageing. Second, good skin elasticity is a factor in the success of facelift surgery and this tends to decrease with age. Finally, healing is often slower and ageing often progresses more quickly as time goes on. One of the most important factors, however, in your facelift success is the surgeon's skill. This is not only due to the quality of the initial results themselves, but how long those results will last after the surgery. When researching prospective plastic surgeons to perform the procedure, you should only select from board-certified facial plastic surgeons with significant experience in facelift surgery. A natural, long-lasting result is the goal here but it takes immense skill to deliver these results to suit each patient's individual needs. By doing the facelift, what we aim to do is, is lift the cheeks up a little bit like this and pull on the jawline. You can see the texture of your cheek improves. The lines here called the nasolabial lines, they will lessen in how deep they are compared to this side. And it gets rid of the, the area here, which creates the jowl on the jawline. That gives you a nicer jawline here, fresher look to the cheeks, and it slightly lifts the cheeks up as well. As for the neck, you can see the lines here, the skin's yeah. relaxed a little bit, so we will tighten the skin so it'll give you a smooth neck like that. Here are some before and after shots of some recent patients. If you would like to learn more about the concept facelift, contact us now using the details below. On Thursday the 12th of September at 12.30 to 1.30pm, Dr Mo Farris, a leading interventional radiologist, will be giving expert advice on the treatment of varicose veins. He will be introducing a simple one-hour minimally invasive laser therapy to remove varicose veins called endovenous thermal ablation. No surgery is required and the entire procedure can be performed in less than an hour under local anaesthetic at our clinic. This event is aimed at those wishing to learn more about varicose veins or thinking about varicose veins surgery. 
And secondly, we have a Prosecco and pelvic floor event with Dr. Gail Ball, a GP specialising in women's health, Dr. Marilyn Glenville, the UK's leading nutritionist, Pip Salmon, a women's health physiotherapist, and Sandrine Gasnier, a Pilates and women wellness expert. To book a place at either event, contact us now using the details below. Join us again next month when we will be discussing sun damage. Thank you for watching. Music